Start line, Raspy Pizza 2020. Sole person here. Day one of DIY gravel. And go. I wanted to celebrate the original day. And I've been thinking for a long time, how, how are we gonna see these events as they throw a, a dart at a calendar later in the year and say, hopefully we can have the event later at a postponed date? How are we gonna celebrate the original day? Because there are thousands of people who are signed up for these events collectively. Whether it's this, or Belgian Waffle Ride, or Dirty Kansas, these events are getting pushed back further and further. So I've been I've been racking my brain for a while. How do I how do I celebrate this? How do I make this something that the whole community can be part of? So I just woke up one day and I said, I'm gonna call it DIY. Do it yourself. You know, go do it yourself gravel. So 3.3 miles into the race, we've hit our first climb. We are still on pavement. We've rolled down down a pretty fast neutral descent into the first climb. Right now is when the race will be going absolutely bananas. Conveniently, I've made the breakaway. I don't see anybody who's gonna be able to chase me down today. I'm feeling good. Yeah, race would be going ballistic right now. Coming out of this first climb, you probably get a group of maybe as small as 10. It would certainly swell again over the next handful of miles. But yeah, this first hill is an absolute bruiser. Left onto Darling Hill Road, this is a a very well-known road here among the Northeast Kingdom mountain bikers. Sweet spot, oh boy. Good thing I got my plush 38 C's on. Now this is the trailhead for a ton of amazing mountain biking up here in the Northeast Kingdom. So anybody who comes up here to shroud some MTBs at other points in the year, they definitely know this road. At this point, we're only about four miles in, so we got some rolling hills, we got Freaking Burke Mountain off to the left, gunning spot. Godspeed. Silo. Actually, we got barns everywhere. We just ripped through Simpson Farm, this class four section. It was uh, it was a blast. A little bit more precipitation. That would be a muddy bog fest. But yeah, that was a that was a ripper. Perfect for for some slick tires. If it got a little bit more gnarly, a little more mud, you probably want some traction. But I mean, shoot, we got perfect spring day today. DIY is all about just getting out. It is not a race. Time doesn't matter. Speed doesn't matter. It's about doing the distance. It's about going out and challenging yourself. And I shouldn't say just going out. It's for indoor riding. It's for outdoor riding. Pay attention to local ordinances, of course. You can ride pavement. You can ride gravel. You can do anything in between. The whole point is to do this. Pedal your bike left, turn. All right, currently at 17.8 miles. I know that there's a KOM coming up. I'm not a KOM hunter. I like to go for them as much as anybody. But look at me. 
I'm 180 pounds, 185 sometimes. I'm not gonna go uphill like a like a feathery sparrow. So I gotta be I gotta be smart about my KOMs. We got one coming up. I scoped it out a little bit. I saw my friend Tyler has it. Tyler Cohen. Apologies if I take it, but I'm going for this Berry Hill segment. 2.1 miles. It's uh, I believe it averages 8% over that time. You know, we're in a pretty pretty rural part of the state, so there's not a whole ton of people who have tackled these segments. We're not in LA. I probably should have reached out and picked the brain of KOM doctor himself, Phil Gaiman. He's like, yo, Phil, what do I got to do? How am I going to get this calm? Go. Tenth of a mile to go. Oh, yow. Well, I got the calm. The crown is mine. Stoked with that, that was a nice test of the legs. We are at mile 22 of the course. We just went up the longest climb of the entire day. 2.1 miles, averaging 8%. It is wide, it's a beautiful road. This is a little bit sticky here, but otherwise it's been wide open. It's exposed, except even if it's windy, I don't think it'll be too gnarly, just given the geography of where we are right now. Um, what will it do to the course? So at this point in the day, you know, front group is probably realistically a dozen, maybe two dozen, depending on how the, the, the event's gonna unfold. It will drop a handful of people, but the entire day is one of attrition because up to this point, we've just been doing climbs up and down and up and down and up and down, short ones, whereas this 2.14 miles is the longest climb of the day. So it might shed a quarter of that group. Um, hard to say, I don't picture a big group rolling off from there because there are still 40 miles to go. So. Time to inject some sugar back in my body. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Tony Little this morning said, if you could put an IV of this in and he'd take it. race day people will have some tired legs in a 100k event so yeah we got we're almost 50 miles in at this point is eat and drink pay attention to not entering the bunk control the controllable don't go into the red up climbs stay safe on descent the end is painfully in sight.
I got a good dad joke. What do you call a man with a rubber toe? Roberto. How do you recognize a nosy hot pepper? Because it gets up jalapeno business. Ahoy! Just like usual times, I got my uh, post-ride hamburger here in the form of a whoopie pie. I got a selection of fine libations. Oh man, oh man, I, got, I brought some good ones. Here's a really good one. We're gonna go with uh, Foam Hold Fast. It's a dry hopped uh, golden ale. Very excited about that. There's the day. Hanging out at the post-ride festivities here. Mm. This is race day. This is April 18th. This is the day that Rasputitsa is supposed to be taken off. Perfect spring day. Sun was out for a good portion of it. I mean, it's bright and sunny now. The Rasputitsa crew always has a great party. So we'd have a band, there'd be music, there'd be fires going and, and people just having a good time. But welcome to the new norm. You know, we got we got social distancing, which is a very real thing. Uh, it's 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 a good thing as we try to deflect the curve here. But there are local ordinances. There are rules. If you can't ride outside, if you're in a country or city or or a place that won't allow you to go outside, you can ride inside. If you don't want to ride the super long distance, I rode the hundred kilometer ride today. There's a shorter ride. All these things are going to be approachable, acceptable doable, and then you have the whole week to do it. Indoor, outdoor, gravel, paved, hot dang. You can fit it in any way you want. And so Rasputitsa, they always throw a little nugget in towards the end. There was one year there was a mini cyclocross course to wrap up the finish. There was the year that we came running through the woods here um, as an unforeseen 20 minute hike a bike. Often the course is not released up until the last minute, so it was very cool that Heidi and Anthony were, were, were willing and, and open to giving me the course so that I could do it today. Um, I mean, they've been completely on board with DIY gravel from the very beginning. They were like, yeah, how can we support? How can we make this a thing? Um, that, that race promoter community, especially here in Vermont, is as strong as ever. Uh, it's, it's fantastic to have folks like them, that, that, family, that family feel to be able to talk and... and just be so welcoming to an idea like this. So huge thanks to Heidi and Anthony. Um, yeah, folks, Rasputitsa DIY, do it yourself, but definitely put this one on your radar for, for the future.